So now that we've got our hair and everything around and flipping, it's time that we make it so we can actually get up to that higher platform. It's time to add some jump. So to make this happen, we're actually going to be working right out of our player movement script. You can double click on that, open it up. And since we're working with rigid body physics here, it makes the most sense to keep all of our movement in the same script, which is why our jump and movement are going to be happening all within this one script here. The good news is we get to reuse some of our work. So once again, we're going to need to make a reference to the rigid body, but since we already did that before, we don't need to do it again. At this point, we can head down into our update function. I'm going to move down below the movement scripting we've already done and the work with the sprite renderer. And this is where we're going to add in our jump um, function. So again, this one's going to be based on an if because we're going to be checking to see whether or not you're pushing down a button. In this case, I'll put in brackets. We're going to look for an input dot. We're going to search to get a button and then in quotation marks put, sorry, not space, in quotation marks put jump. That'll check to see whether the jump key is being pressed. The default jump key in Unity is the spacebar, though we can change that later if we want to. Now, if somebody is actually pushing the jump button, we want something to happen, a force to be applied to our rigid body. So we're going to type out our player RB. Remember from the earlier script on movement that our player RB refers to the player rigid body. Now we're going to put dot velocity. Again, remember that velocity is the direction and speed with which we are moving. And so we want our rigid body's velocity to be set equal to, this time we're going to use a vector 2, vector 2 being an x and y um, direction. <clears throat> since we're wanting to go upward, this time we're going to type in vector 2 dot up. And simply, we just want to multiply this by something we're going to call jump force, and semicolon. Now you'll notice that at the moment, Visual Studio doesn't like jump force. That's because we haven't told it what our jump force is. So for this, we can go back up to the top where we've declared our variables. I'm going to create a public variable. We're making it public so that we can adjust it later in Unity. We'll make this one a float because we want to have lots of precision and be able to use decimals. And then just give the name jump force. You can save this now and head on back into Unity. In Unity, we'll want to click on our player character. Then head over to the inspector and take a look inside of the player movement script. You'll notice that our jump force is currently set to zero. I'm going to start with a five and we'll see how that works. So at the moment when I push it, you'll notice that he's jumping uh, not too bad. It's a little bouncy and we've got some weird wall stuff going on, but this is a good start to our jump script. In order to get my jump script looking a little less floaty, I'm going to make a bit of an adjustment. So I'm going to go into my rigid body and here in the gravity scale I'm going to actually change the scale. Most of this has to do with the fact that our characters in this are a different size than people in the real world and so real life physics look a little funny at this scale. I'm going to actually try playing with things. I'll try a 12 gravity scale which means I'll need more jump force as well. Let's put that up to 12 too and see what happens. So now when I jump, you'll notice that he falls much quicker. It's a little more responsive looking. It's a little bit funny looking at the same time, but it's easy to make those adjustments. Just play with your gravity scale and jump force until you get them just right. Now there are some problems here. For example, the ability to hold onto the wall. As long as I press over, <laughs> he keeps going into the wall. Um, and also I can double, triple and well, jump forever. However, all of those are things we can fix in a later video. Go ahead and give this a try for yourself. Yeah.